The first thing I did was say yes to someone who asked me if I would help serve at an event at the old YWCA. We were there to help fill a need. That was the gist of it. But it took many women, wonderful women. The first thing I remember about the YWCA is mom taking me to an annual meeting. And I remember being the youngest person there. And I think I was in high school. She was inspired, and uh, whenever she was asked to help with anything, she did. We spent a lot of time uh, talking over dinners and events and holidays about the need to give of your time and your talent. And so that's probably one of the most, the fondest memories we had was always just saying, well, do something about it if it means a lot to you. And they both did and always have. And that's how it all started. I was taught to give back and I had examples of giving uh, as people could. Whether you're going to be inspiring your friends, your children, or your grandchildren, and they're giving. So the big isn't important. It's the gift and your intention and interest in the organization. Our family has been able to do a legacy of generosity, and Grandma started it. Mm -hmm. And she's been able to talk about it and show it, and it was picked up. And it was then passed along, and that legacy continues. But it has to start somewhere. It has to begin, but you need to find it and then start the legacy of your own. Legacy with friends, legacy with family, and the generosity will continue and that impact will continue. Start the legacy with just one night and then inspire yourself and others to add on another night. And how many can you get together? You know, there were times we didn't have money, but we had, you know, hands and can do that. And, you know, it's, it's that togetherness here. You catch it from your parents <laughs> and you give it to your kids. <laughs> oh, if you're lucky, you gotta, you know. I think they caught on, don't you? <laughs> Maybe we did. Yeah. <laughs> <Good on you. laughs> yep, we caught on. <laughs>